uh, chapter 4 is gradually varied flow in open channel in previous lecture we discussed uh, uniform flow in open channel we said that the in a uniform flow uh, change in water surface with respect to distance is equal to zero while in gradually varied flow change in water surface uh, along the distance is not equal to zero it has a value it could be negative or positive uh, when gradually varied flow occur when when there is a drop in the channel or diverting flow from the reservoir into a channel such as like a spillway this divert uh, divert uh, flood water from the reservoir into the spillway flow in this channel is called gradually varied flow and in this and also in this the main objective of the, is of gra analysis of gradually varied flow is to find the depth of flow at various uh, station in order to find the height of side walls uh, so the basic definition of gradually varied flow a steady non-uniform flow in a prismatic channel with a gradual change in water surface level so the backwater backwater means uh, rising of water due due to construction of a weir or barrage or any other hydraulic structure uh, okay and uh, the sudden drop drop in a channel are typical few example of gradually varied flow this is example of gradually varied flow okay uh, the basic assumption are the pressure pressure distribution is a hydrostatic and the resistance can be calculated using manning equation but in this case instead of bed slope is not friction slope is used okay in manning equation to derive the um, dynamic equation of gradually varied flow, Bernoulli equation is used. Okay, Bernoulli, the total head is equal to Z elevation head plus depth of water plus V square over 2G. This equation is the dynamic equation of gradually varied flow. dy by dx is equal to S0 minus SF. S0 bed slope, SF friction slope, 1 minus Q square T I Q big G. Q is a discharge. T, the top width of A is area and G, gravitational acceleration. If the kinetic co uh, correction of energy greater than 1, so it can be put it here, okay, to calculate a change in water surface with respect to X. Classification of fl flow profile, there are three relations between Y0 and YC. Y0 is the normal depth which can be found by using mining equation yc is the critical depth first y not greater than yc or y not less than yc the third one y not uh, is equal to yc we have two cases where there is no y not available or exist when s not slope is equal to zero and when the channel has a phase slope we have five categories of flow profile we have mild slope when y not greater than yc and we have a steep slope when yc greater than y not when have critical when both y y not and yc are equal and horizontal when s not is equal to zero at very slope is not less than zero for each five category of the channel line represent the critical depth and normal depth if exist can be drawn in the longitudinal section this are longitudinal section of a channel for different slope this is mild slope we see that y not greater than yc we have three region region one above water surface region two between critical and water surface region three below critical level also for steep slope we have three region just uh, critical level water depth is above normal water level in critical situation we have just two region region one or region three because why not doesn't why not is equal to yc uh, here is not s not as, as critical not as zero okay uh, in horizontal case when s not is equal to zero we have also two region region two and region three in adverse also we have two region region two and region three uh, dy by dx is could be positive if 
numerator greater than zero and denominator greater than zero or b both of them are less than zero uh, numerator what does that mean by numerator and denominator this is in the equation this is numerator and this is denominator top of the equation bottom of the equation okay so in mild slope we have three region how to separate the region by y, y0, and yc? If y greater than y0 and yc, region 1. If y in the middle, region 2. If y less than both of them, region 3. Also, for steep uh, slope, we have a 3 corresponding to y, y0, yc. Okay? And for all others, are the same. We have an example. Uh, to determine type of flow gradually varied flow first discharge is given the objective is to find y not y not is equal to q 1 over n a r 2 by 3 s not we have s not we have uh, n just find y not okay then calculate the y uh, critical depth because it's a rectangular channel Re critical depth is equal to q square over g, over g under root cubic so q is equal to q capital over b we have a b uh, find y is equal to 0.243 because y not is greater than yc so it's a mild type and we have a noun y this y bet between y not and yc so it's type 2 profile some features of m when m profile is occur if we have obstruction like a weir or a control structure uh, this is m1 profile m2 when it's occur at the sudden drop if you have a drop m2 is occur m3 occur uh, when you have a gate okay in a channel is also uh, s profile is uh, could be occurred by create pull by obstruction also if you have a weird uh, the type of profile could be as f the slope of the channel is steep s2 also occur if we have a mild slope rich steep slope or we have a drop s3 uh, could be occur if we have a gate sluice gate okay like this but the slope should be steep we have four critical we have c1 c2 h we have h1 and h3 H2 and H3, and for A, we have A2 and A3. Okay. This is also the features of for creation type of gradually varied flow uh, for M profile and S and A, all the all profiles. Uh, we said that H usually occur when the slope is zero. H2 we have a drop h3 if you have a gate critical also could be occur if the slope is critical okay adverse if we have adverse slope what's control section control section is the point where calculation are started on what does that mean for this if you have this type of m m1 where is the location of control point is located at downstream because in all super subcritical flow the calculation start from downstream to upstream but however in uh, steep slope or supercritical calculation start from upstream to the downstream so in all s profile the location of control point located at upstream however for mild slope location of control lo uh, point at downstream this is control point where the calculation of water surface profile started on okay how to analyze the type of flow first we should draw longitudinal section of the channel okay after that find critical depth line and normal depth line mark it this two depth on the segment of the channels and uh, identify type of flow according to y y not and yc for example, this is typical example how to draw the longitudinal of 
three reaches. Okay, we have this reach is horizontal. We have a sluice gate here and overfall here. Okay, the trapezoidal channel has three reaches I, B, C, and D connected in series. If we have a discharge, uh, draw and determine type of flow of gradually varied flow. For three rich, the data are shown here. We have ABC, bed width, size slope, and bed slope and manning roughness. First calculate Y0 and YC. YC can be calculated by the main equation because we have because the section is trapezoidal. Okay, find YC here. Uh, and then find Y0 by using manning equation. For the first case, Y0 greater than YC, so it's mild. In the second, why not less than YC steep? Third, also why not less than uh, YC steep also? But the second reach steeper than the third reach because why not is much less than the YC. Okay, how to draw the sketch? We have a first mild slope. We have a very steep and moderate step okay mark yc yc is not changed because as we said that uh, geometry is constant and uh, determine level of y not at each section this is y not connect y not y not with nine this is this point is it like a deflection point okay at critical we have a two profile at this point uh, here also we have uh, M2 because Y is reduced. This is S2 also Y is reduced. We have S3. Y is less than Y0 and YC. Okay. That's the gradually varied flow profile.